down the river bank and now I'm hopping along the Thames by industrial whopping. But you must be careful and value your luck as the ground made of stones may begin to suck. Time to move on and down south we go to Peckham Cinema but not for a show but to enter the portal of the abandoned car park then wander the streets in the mystical dark. It was just really interesting to know stuff about London that you didn't really know before. And uh, I also liked the, uh, all of the exploring games that we did, like just walking around Soho and uh, like rolling a dice to find your street. Psychogeography influenced my A-level work a lot because it had me explore London in a way I wouldn't have looked at it before. Like, going to Peckham, which was like a really scary <laughs> process for me, mm. but yeah, and then the car park there um, majorly influenced my work in looking at the empty spaces of London, which used to be full of life. From the exotic places in Soho to the derelict car parks of Peckham, from the stone-filled beach of Wapping to the vibrant Dalston Market, the places are filled with history and many more stories to come, but I must say the journey there was where it all began. The variety of different nationalities you can find on just one bus, listening to their conversations really is a must. Damp and musky, walking next to a park there was what I would call that after rain smell. Everything around smelt damp and slightly disused. I'm glad I took notes of the smells of Peckham because writing this up two months later, the smells have triggered intense memories of the day, far more than a quick snap would. He needed to get to a different part of the station. He was moving lines and moving platforms, and in his journey through the hustle and bustle, he accidentally bumped his hand against a small girl. He threw an apology in her direction, but she appeared to not hear him. She was clutching her mother's hand and was apparently gazing around at the wonders of the station that she found herself in. Her bright purple notebook was held tightly to her chest. We've been to places that I wouldn't have gone to, like the bank, uh, the river bank, and Peckham. Um, I don't think I've spent much time south of the river generally, so that was an interesting experience. Um, I've liked spending time with people that I normally wouldn't speak to in college. Um, yeah, it's been good fun. by the quality of those images <laughs> and I think the concept of choreographing um, items that we come across in everyday life is an incredibly interesting one and for me always fantastic to see students work in action and to get out of the office and see that. The facial expressions of the masks and like um, interpreting it by doing body languages and the gestures and thinking about their movements as well. Um, yeah, so this led us to learn about the cultures behind the masks and the reason for the uses of the masks which could be for like spiritual ceremonies and such. And then this helped us go into more contemporary ideas of movement by featuring like mobile phones and stuff like that.